What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and we are continuing our Marvel Legends series Venom toy reviews, and we got Spider-Ham here, and he is looking pretty good. I'm not a big Spider-Ham fan, to be honest with you, but, uh, and when I saw this toy, I was kind of like, oh man, I would have loved almost any other character instead of him. But I understand why they went with this character, one, because there is a big fan base out there for him, but two, you could fit more in here as far as the torso goes, and they give you an extra head here for Pork Rind, and that head goes on to the Eddie Brock Venom figure. Uh, I thought it was meant for him, but I guess it's meant for the Eddie Brock one, uh, because that is a character that does fight Spider-Ham in one of the comic books, and he's bigger than Spider-Ham, he's not the same size. So we have some artwork on the side here, looks really good. Uh, and then on the back here, we have Peter Porker, a.k.a. the Spider-Ham, part pig, part spider, part scientific mishap. Peter Porker becomes the web-shooting swine known as Spider-Ham. And there's more artwork there and the figure again here. So let's not waste any more time. Let's crack him open and see what he's all about. So this is going to be a shorter video, no pun intended, sorry Spider-Ham, but you can see here the figure does not have that many points of articulation, so there's not really much to talk about. Uh, obviously I'll have the pop-ups going up of like his first appearance and some, you know, tidbits and information about the character, but overall uh, he's pretty standard. He just has, uh, not even standard according to Marvel Legends, uh, he's got an elbow joint, a small elbow joint, he's got a ball joint in his shoulder there, um, his hand is just connected to the the forearm but it does have some spinning articulation uh, his head is on a ball joint as well and his stomach uh, can move side to side uh, you know but that's that's it no articulation in the legs whatsoever um, they just did that I guess to keep him sturdy is to you know not put too much in his legs but I will say he does feel a little wobbly uh, they are not solid uh, ground that he you know his foot isn't they're not even unfortunately so that's kind of a bummer that they molded it that way to where you can't bend his feet or anything but uh, also not, you know, it not be even. Uh, I'm sure it wasn't an easy mold to make, but uh, it's still, it's, I can see it's going to have some problems over time. But he does come, since he's just a small figure, he comes with a lot of accessories. Obviously, we have the pork rind head, and this is something that we can put on the Eddie Brock figure. So we'll probably do that in the uh, video that has Monster Venom, just to kind of show off what that looks like on Eddie Brock. So we'll, we'll combine it with that video, or we'll make a separate video, something like that. Uh, but it does come with the torso for Monster Venom. And as you can see, it's bigger than Spider-Ham, and it comes with a back piece. So that was, that someone was right. Someone on one of my earlier videos said that uh, this, because I saw two pieces in here. I thought it was two different chest pieces, but they said, no, it's the back piece and it snaps on. And as you can see here, it does. You just snap it down. So when you buy it out of the box, it will have this piece detached and separate side by side with this one so I thought there was like two different spiders so you could make like a Lee Price Venom and maybe like a Matt Gargan Venom but no it looks like it's just this and I think this might even be the Lee Price Venom I, I know we're doing the Matt Gargan stuff right now in the comics so this spider symbol doesn't exactly match up what Matt Gargan has. I mean, it kind of does and it kind of doesn't. It looks a little bit like the Lee Price one. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of debate on that. Or maybe one of you guys know for sure. So if so, let me know down below. But either way, that is Spider-Ham. That's all he is. It's just a quick, easy review. Take a look at him. Hope you like him. I think he came out better than I thought. I mean, I'm a little you know, curious about the legs, if he's going to be able to hold up over time. But for now, at least the mold looks great. He looks great. He's very cartoony looking and he stands out with all the other characters because everyone else looks so serious and detailed in this role or in this line, I should say. But it's nice to have someone who kind of stands out and looks a little different and looks like he's animated uh, essentially differently. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching my video. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you in the future. Peace.